the second, the third part, and this will be the fourth part. And then, uh, if you can see, as God has been taking us from the very first part, it has been awesome. I was able to explain to us what destiny was about at the first, uh, the first part, and I showed us how the devil can rob us if we are not careful, that we all are destined to be great. We are destined to make it. We are destined to prosper. But one thing that is very important is that we can be the one to stop it by ourselves. Even if God has destined us to make it, if God has destined us to be great in life, we can stop it by our own way of life, living, you know, our own way, the way we'll live our life, the way we'll undo life, can make either God to answer us, to bring his purpose to pass in our life. And I was able to explain to us in that first part. That second one, we talk on the demonic strategies to, to rob us if we don't take care of our parents, the, our, our, spirit, our physical, our natural parents, I mean, the one who gave us to us. Those who gave us to us, either father or mother, that if we don't take good care of them, the enemy can as well use that to rob us of our destiny. And the Bible says if we don't honor our father and mother, our days will not be long and we shall not enjoy prosperity. <clears throat> and I was able to explain to us at the second part that whether you are here, uh, your parents are still alive, or you are online listening to me, take good care of your parents so that you can live long, so that you can have prosperity. You may have prosperity, but if you don't live long, what is the essence? And we said, we should combine the two together by taking good care of them so, can, so that we can fulfill our destiny. And the third part, I was able to show us that the third one is we should take, we should, we should take the, uh, the spiritual parenting serious. Last week we discussed that uh, spiritual parenting is one of another point that the enemy can use to rob us. That if you if are not careful, if you don't undo it with care, we may, dis we may discover that the devil will be robbing us and uh, we'll look at it as if it's one of those things that normally occur to everyone, you know. And I was able to show us some of the things that needs to do about spiritual parenting last week. I told us uh, why, we should, why we need them and how we can undo them, what, how we can undo them and how it can produce results unto us. And without taking much of our time, we'll go straight to what we have this morning, which is the fourth part. And today we'll be looking at what we call M-O-N-E-Y, which is what is called money. Money is good. If you have it, you will know that it's good. I want to show us why we need to have money. How you as a Christian should have money. Because if we don't talk about it, it can as well make us not to fulfill our destiny. The devil can use it to rob us. Money is good, but the love of it is what the Bible calls that it is evil. Hallelujah. Somebody will be, will be looking and be asking questions. How will money be part of what can rob off of our destiny? I will show us so many ways. Because so many died because there was no money. They will say, ah, so money. And that was the reason why she could not do this. She could not do that. I've seen a very intelligent guy. Somebody very close. And even as we are talking... I'm still pushing the person. You have to go back. Go and study. You have everything that it takes. But he kept complaining over one thing. That is M-O-N-E-Y. Kosovo. And I think we need, to, we need to study more on it. We need to check it. What is God saying about it? So let's look at it this morning. On money. Why we should have money. And how you as a Christian should have it. Now, why are we talking about money today? Why do we want to study about it? And why is it the issue of money so important to our destiny? 
We'll look at it from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 12. We are going to open together. We are going to read together and see the wisdom therein. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 12. Let's have it please on the screen. We all, we are going to rise on our feet. We are going to read together after the count of three. Shall we honor the word of God, please? Let's go. After the count of three, one, two, and three. Let's go. For wisdom is a defense. As money is a... If you have your Bible, when you sit, please underline it. Let's go back. One, two, three, and let's go. For wisdom is a defense. As money is a defense. But the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom given life to those who do what? Who have it. The Lord bless us as we uh, sit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now look at this. He said, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom given life to them that have it. Our uncle scripture shows us that money is a defense. And what is defense? Let's look at it. A defense means protection. Defense means protection. So definitely wisdom will give unto us defense. Money will give unto us defense. And the self defense means protection. Abu. Another definition for it says a covering against arm. A covering against arm. It means that if you lack money, there are certain things you will not be, you will not be protected from. If you lack wisdom, there are some things you will be protected from. In the Bible, if you remember the story of this man called Lazarus, the Bible makes us to understand that he will go every day to go and sit at the table of the rich man because the, they call him a poor man. Do you know something that really touched me when I was reading that portion? The Bible said the dog of the king will come and be licking his leg. Normally, when a dog is approaching you, and you notice that, ah, what is wrong with this one? Why are you so, what will you do? You can as well do like you are chasing. But he dare not do that. The reason is because he does not have what it takes to chase that dog away. They will ask him, what are you doing at the, king's, at the rich man's table? So he does not have the defense. Even the, king, the rich man cannot ask Lazarus to come and sit on the chair. Because he was a poor man. But will a guess from the, you know, those who are okay, like the rich man comes around and says, we want to come and visit the man. Will he ask them to sit on the floor? So money is a defense. Lazarus cannot defend himself because there was no money. So the dog will come along and do what start licking his wounds. If you lack money, you will not have what it takes to be defended from certain embarrassment. You know, there are some embarrassment that comes on you. And the only solution is to do what? To bring out the cash. But that if I sorrow, I need meeting you. And the firstborn keep postponing the meeting because he or she knows the purpose of the meeting is to bring out cash. But when, I, when brother is okay, even he will be the one that says, okay, mommy need last year renovate the one, get cash meeting, Lola. But when there is not this thing that we are talking about, M-O-N-E-Y, we'll keep postponing what we're supposed to do on time. May we not lack money. Okay? You don't want it. I will not lack money in Jesus' name. The Bible says it is a defense. Only man getting your knee and war. But you, Basi, I don't know whether it has happened to you. They are calling for something, and you say, Ah, but she did a quick book. I'm only a four day by Koso Wolungebe. I don't know whether, whether what I'm saying you understand. You say, ah, hey, hey, let's look for another alternative. 
Because there is no money. It's a defense. Hmm. But if a man lacks money, what it takes to be defended from, I mean from certain embarrassment, the embarrassment will come on such a person. It's therefore clear for us all to see that God is not against Christian having money. For us to see it in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 12, it shows to us that God wants Christians to have it. And that will lead us to what's the next question that says, what is God's divine way to have money as a Christian? What is God's divine way to have money as a Christian? Okay, God says I should have one. God says I should be blessed. Okay, why am I still where I am? Why is things not working as God said? Maybe we've not got into the, to the real facts. We've not really tackled it to check on it. Let's look at the way God is expecting us as a Christian to have the money we are talking about. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 28. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 28. Shall we read together? Let's have it on the screen. On your seat, please. Let's have it on the screen. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 28. Let's go one, two, three. Let him that do what? Stole, do what? Steal no more. But rather, let him labor. Working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he may have to give him the needed. I don't know whether that scripture has any meaning to you. Do you know that God wants us to have money and he still wants us to give to those who doesn't have? So definitely, can't you see that scripture? When I saw this, I said, eh. He said, who? He who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must do what? Work. Doing something useful with his own hand that he may have something to share with those in need. Any needy person here? Ah. Eh. But look at this scripture. Another one. Message Bible. Did you used to make ends meet by stealing? It's a question. Well, no more. Get an honest job so that you can help others who cannot work. I want to go to the fire. I want to go to the fire. I want to go to the fire. I want to go to the but I won't want what only shall I mama toro. And that is the reason why you as a child of God, you profess to be a born again child of God, should have money. <laughs> and how will you have it? He says you should walk. W-O-R-K says you should do what? Use your hand to walk. Walk is the major biblical established process by which money should come to a person? Ishe ni ogun ishe. It's the only major biblical established process by which money should come to a person. I met a woman. She will be 61 or 62 this year. And all her children are already blessed. And the uh, Every morning, as I will be rushing down to the office, coming to school, she too, I will meet her. She, she wants to just come out. Of, so I now ask her, ah, Mommy, what is it? You have already celebrated your sixth year. Why are you still working? He said, eh? I will not sit down. I will not be waiting for my children until when they bring monthly allowance. I will not eat. I will not want it. I went to school so that I can be able to have money. Hey, Pastor Mrs., look at that house. I'm the one building it. I will soon finish it. Look at the other one. I'm the one doing it. I will soon finish it. I was encouraged. He said, Kenny, show Ishe. Me, I will walk. I cannot sit down. Even if I retire from this world, I will, I'm already preparing for what I will, I will be doing. That will not keep me at home. But nowadays, 
We have our younger ones that doesn't want to work. Want not to even talk of coming out of the house. From the comfort of their home, they want to be using expensive things. Doing what some, you know, using what other people have been laboring for years to achieve. They want to achieve it in a day. Ah. We met a woman. I see saw her yesterday night when we were going home. And she said, Mommy, Eva, I'm not daddy lady. What daddy promised? I, and I laughed. And I asked my husband, what happened? He said, there was a day I was going home. I was trying to move around with the, the church ambulance and uh, to invite people to church. That when I got to her place, she said, Daddy, I wish to be born again. I wish to be a Christian. But I cannot be won because I got married to an alpha. But I like seeing Christians the way they do. But Daddy, I am disturbed. My husband has asked, what happened? He said, Daddy, see, I'm selling fish. But this thing is not producing. But some set of boys came around. They came in a, in, a, in, a, in a fine car. And when they came, they said, I told them, if I know, I will have built them. Daddy, they packed all the fish inside Lilo. And they said, how much? I told them how much. Do you know they gave me times three of the, all my this thing. So they gave her times three. He said, ah, she was not looking at them. They went to the, uh, the, the talk show, baby. What do you call it? In front of her house. And they said, They said they're bringing out everything in bags. He said, and I, I started crying. What kind of a life is this? I am walking and walking. I want to I want to me. I mean, I want to I want to to See how they are spending money. <laughs> so my husband has said, So kilo one pang in He said, Ah, he said, I don't know how to see what I want to see. How will they be having money? And I'm yet to have. I'm still struggling. My husband now laughed. He now said, he explained everything to her. This is the way they, they used to get their home money. This and this and this and this. Can you go through the same process? He, she said, no. Do you know such so thing can happen to them any moment? He said, eh. He said, but God is supposed not to allow them. God should see those of us who are working. See how you are I'm laboring. It's not showing. My husband said, just hold on. You will see how God will be lifting you small, small. Gradually, you will get to, if you are not discouraged. And I believe somebody is here seated in front of me or hearing me through this uh, network. Some will be asking the same question. Why is it that those who are working are not seeing results? Why is it that those who are, are not working are those seeing money? Except you if you are not born again. But if you are born again, oh, this is the only means. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 28. Let him that do what? Eh? Number two, use your hand to walk. Use your hand to walk. But rather, let him labor. There is dignity in labor. You have the confidence and share it shall warm me. I mean, I Because so bad that rule all that. But you don't have the foundation for you don't. If you get up and the whole thing crash. How will you start all over again? Toba jump possible. Walking with your hands. 
the thing which is good that he may have to give to those that need it. Work is the only major biblical established process by which money should come to a person. God did not say money should come by praying for it. Begging people for it. Or looking for how to steal in order to get it. And you start praying for money. Oh Lord, money. Oh Lord, money. Pray from money till night. Oh, walking double at all. No. It must pass through somewhere. And it should be from your labor. God can send people to you to bless you. But God will have seen that you have labored enough. You have worked with your hands enough. So that he can produce for you. Work is the gateway to ending financial scarcity. If you are experiencing it, then you must look for a way out. Somebody came a few weeks ago and said, Mama, I don't know. I think the family I got married into, I think they are the one having problem. I said, ah, problem, sir. He said, ah, when I, before I got married, I used to have money now. Huh? I have more than enough. To do this, to do that, to do uh, school and this. I have enough that we even, I have more than enough to give to my parents. But now it's not like that. And I laughed. The person looked at me and said, I said, Ogwen, you should go, go, go. She now looked at me and said, yes, Ogwen, you should go. For the ancient family of Kotowa. I said, as of now, as I'm talking now. Your daughter, you just bought what for her? You said ice cream. How much is it? She mentioned. Since we've been in the church till the end of this service, how much thing? Loti Rafu, she mentioned. I said, Ma, come on. When you get back home, what do you people used to drink? Only pure water. How much is back of pure water? She calculated. I said, now calculate this. This is just fuel for today, for a week. How much will that cost? How much are you earning? She now said, ah. I said, oh, when you should go. As we are in Nigeria of today, things are not getting, will I say, lesser? It's increasing daily. And as the thing is increasing, you're supposed to increase your channel of income so that you can balance with your family. Nobody's, you are not having a problem. It's not cause. Look for another means of getting money. She now sat and said, ah, and it's true, Mama. In our house, we used to finish one bag of pure water every day, which is 250 naira every day. Times how much? If you have 30 days in a month, and you are using pure water, is the least, Abby. You know, we, we used to say, ah, Omi, 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 and now calculate it to 250. Oh, yeah, I can't tell. 250. Eh? 75, Abby. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you are earning how much in a month? You are, if you are earning like 20 something, I'll be 30 of it. Even if it is 50,000, remove that amount alone. Check out it. If you remove your title and remove that amount for pure water. And the purpose for money is for you to have it and to spend it. So if you now want to be spending money and you are not generating it, how will you prosper? How will you be rich? So work is the gateway to ending financial scarcity. And one of the reasons several believers today are struggling in life is because they have misled, they have been misled by the teachings of faith. And say, Oluwa lo ma she ya no. Igba bo ni ke ni. Owo yo wa. Ala anu o wa yi ko. Ha anu o shi de fun yi. Ha anu o shi de fun yi. Ha anu o shi. People will not leave their work and be praying. Ye ma de bo shata. Ye ke de bo shata. Ya da 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 da. Money, money, money. Since I've been on this heart. Owo jabori yo. Ojo she enro. At least. I was part of those 
Who made this? Uh, what do you call this? No. In those days, on Jabba, when I was small, mobile one call, mobile one. Eh? Don't Jabba let on mobile one ring by eh? Ring by eh? Oh, heaven she closed his heart. But this time, I think the heaven is far. At least I can still remember vividly. I was though I was small, I saw it life. Ta for work, baby. Henry, co. Nini, at the block, Hilary. Emi Oriko wo jabo la ton onri yo. Abe yin ti riri. E yin te ti shaji wada ye. E yon evan. Che ti riri. Bo yabe le ti koti yin. Let us know. I don't think it has ever happened before. But so many has been misled by the teachings of faith. Miracles and sowing without balancing it with the principle of work. As the gateway to the to end lack. Let me explain this area very well. Some people will preach and say, so in, if you sow now, so one thousand, you will reap one hundred million. <laughs> the Bible says there is seed time and harvest. You sow, but you must work. Walk so that the sowing, oh, good dog, baby, this as in when you sow the seed, yeah, to fair father, what to fair germinate for must pass through a means. And you are not working. How do you want it to come back? The little one you have, you have put everything down. How will it come back? I will see that I want pastor, don't put it, don't put No, I won't tell you if you sow 1000 now, it will fall. No, 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 There is seed time and there is harvest time. But you must work. Prepare for the harvest. You keep working before the harvest will come back. It will pass through a channel. And that's one of the teachings this generation doesn't want to hear. And the messages are being preached without balancing it with the principle of work as the gateway to end lack. I can remember one of our brothers came and said, Papa, I make a vow. I told God my first salary will be a seed. And I'm, I'm here, sir, with the, with the first salary. My husband looked at him and asked, how many children do you have? How long did you marry as at that time? And you want to sow your first salary? I'm not here. Do you know the reason why I said not here? If you should sow it, I will be the problem. I will be, you will be the problem for the church. Because every time you will be coming to the altar, oh, look out. You must have a fair push or the other way, baby. Well, I want more. If I will, I need to go to a college on Sparafuin. I will let you know. You know, let me teach you how to do it so that you won't be a burden to us here. Not all pastors can preach that. It may take time before we get to where we are going, but definitely we'll get there. Okay, if you say, Rabba Sakata, call it. But what do you contain in the family? Hello, Taulu, I need to move E wa kusori ni hata. Ta, e fi e se ri, e fi e ku. It's the truth. Let's forget about, yes, the faith work, but faith will pass through a channel. The seed will pass through a channel. What are you doing? Your sowing of seed, after sowing it, i bolo ma gba kwa da wa. Sho ma jaba la ton ni. No now. I said something on the Facebook. A man posted it and said, I've been sewing, I've been sewing, I've been sewing. Now, all my business is finished. <laughs> Say, please, help me to beg them to give me back all the money I've sold to the church. <laughs> and me and my husband, we love and love. I said, God, I'm sorry. Oh, do you have to go And this is one of the reasons, uh, at times, me and some of our leaders used to fight over it. Uh, we want to call, I say, I don't want, don't call any meeting for me. Anybody who wants to give me, give. Let them give. If, I, if they value me, they will give me. Don't buy collaboration. Why well, was the meaning of that? I don't want it again. I told my husband, I said, see, oh, see, I said, see, me, I don't believe in that. Yes, as a group, you can do it. 
but not that it should be by force. No. I'm walking. Me, see me, to, but you want to read or don't. I go to the meeting. I go to the Let it be from their heart. Individually, you can do that. But it's not until when it is. Mm-mm. And I was thinking maybe, ah, well, yeah, I'm becoming proud. Until when I met my mentor, my mother and I said, yeah, Amy, go for me. I stopped them. I told them, don't do it again. Because some people who can afford to give me 10,000, 20,000, because they said collaboration, they will give 2,000. So if, I, if you value me, you will present good gifts to me. So stop all this collab. Yes, collab. What you can afford, they will not be begging you to give it. What's the meaning of that? He said, me too, I stopped them. You, when you give, somebody will say, if you give now, nah, the law will prosper. It. The law will, it will prosper, it, but it will pass through a channel. So what channel do you have? James chapter 2 verse 18 says, James 2 18, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have, I, I have work. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works. And I, I will show thee my faith by my works. Konshe, Ishe, Ishe, you know, Yoruba has different. But this one is talking about W-O-R-K. If you're an English student, you will understand what this thing is saying. Moni igbagbo, moni ishe. Fi ishe e homi, fi igbagbo e homi. Oni igbagbo, oni ishe. Ibo ni, o woti fewa. In the word of God, we are shown that our faith require, uh, that our faith require that we involve in faith-based action. If we will see God in action in our life, we cannot sit down doing nothing and expect that scarcity should end in our lives. Any believer that does not want to want the devil to, to succeed over his or her destiny should engage in the principle of work. W O R K. She is she. I told someone, I said, I love giving people gifts. I love sowing to people's life. But I will first see what you, are, what you can do with the little tool I'm giving you. Because I'm not she is she. I put out a list for widows that normally give gifts during my birthday. And uh, some of them met me and they were greeting me. Ah, hey, she don't talk about Yama. Hey, she tell me. Hey, where? Hey, where? Hey, she will. Hey, she ma. Ah, mommy, since the last time, this is what I was able to do. I'm selling fruit. Now God is helping me. He's increasing. I'm still working. I'm the one cleaning our social and social hospital. I'm doing this. I said, good. Even though you are a widow, it should not hurt. And that's the reason why so many women nowadays, if the husband should die, they die at the same time with the man because their totality is on the man. And that's the reason why we have so much young widows asking for help. Now, let's ask, answer this question. What is work? What is work? W-O-R-K. And it says, it is the rendering satisfactory service or product that solves people's problem in such a way that these people become willing to pay to enjoy such product and service. Let me go back. What is work? It is rendering, rendering, satisfactory service or products or products a satisfactory service or products that solves people's problem in such a way 
in such a way that these people become willing to pay to enjoy such <clears throat> products and service. Are you clear? Or shall, I shall come back. Okay, what is work? It is rendering satisfactory service or products that solves people's problem in such a way that these people become willing to pay to enjoy such products and service. <laughs> and let's put more line on it. On the book of Genesis chapter 41 and verse 33 to 40. Genesis 41, 33 to 40. I will read. Now therefore, let Pharaoh look out a man, discreet and wise, and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this, and let him appoint officers over the land, and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in the seven plenteous years. And let them gather all the food of those good years that come, and lay up corn under the hand of Pharaoh. And let them keep food in the, in the cities. And Pharaoh said on, unto his servant, Can we find such a man, or such a one, as this is, a man in whom the Spirit of God is in, uh, the Spirit of God is in. And 39 says, And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou, as thou art. And verse 40 says, Thou shalt be over my house according unto thy word, shall all my people be ruled. <clears throat> Only in the throne will I be greater than thee. And I wrote here, I said, can you see that Joseph was immediately employed by the king Pharaoh the moment he saw that he asked what was needed to help Egypt manage the economic well, <clears throat> Joseph was immediately promoted. What is work? Rendering a satisfactory service or product that solves people's problem. Somebody will ask, can you share? You are rendering a service to solve the problem of the people. Me and some set of uh, brothers, we've been trying to do some things recently, or will I say lately, over, okay, you go and head this side. This is the problem we have in this area. Can you solve this? And when the person came back and tell me, Mama, <coughs> so, 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 so area is needed. Do this. I said, okay, can you proceed by telling the person in charge, the owner of the place, to put it in place? By the time he came back, he said, Mama, one fall hand in a minute, gone. I said, they want results. But you are not rendering any service. You want money. From which area? So I started telling some of the other things he can put in place. I am asking you now. You want money. Which work can you do? What do you know how to do where? Because it's over money. You know some of us, we just, ah, everybody in water. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. You have not been able to sit down and say, how will I render service? To solve the problem that will make people to come to me with their money. And we are only teaching you this so that some of us will not keep saying, Papa, I'm breaking the kidney solutions is scarcity. No. Look at how you can help, I mean, solve a problem. By solving that problem, they will give you their money, they will bring out something. To compensate you, to pay you back for the service you are you have been able to, 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 to render to them. And this place showed us that it was only Joseph that has the skill. He was able to render them service. Do you know how many things he gained from that place? When you are above 30 and you are here to balance your life, to know what you are to do in life. So those of you who are still younger, you have the opportunity. Why are you? It's true. (laughs) 
Even if you are in school, learn something. Of Nigeria of today. If you don't have anything you are rendering, who will give you money? Even those of us who are pastors, if you don't render any service, they won't give you money. I won't lie to you. And somebody will say, what are the services pastors should render? When last have you visited them? When last have you called them? Can you use your money to call? Can you use your money to send a message? And you want them to give you what is in their hand? You are not rendering any service. They will say, ah, Kenny. My, 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 uh, hard money. I will not give it. My, 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 uh, do you know what I went through to give that money? So before you start speaking in grammar to me, I pray, rakatakada, prosper them. But I mean, no, do So being a pastor, I do tell them now, be doing something that relates to the ministry. Joseph was promoted because he was able to do what to solve a problem. My wife will go, ah, ah, ah. In your call, Lord, go by. Lord, they solve problem by. I just can't promote it. Walk on, yeah, really, me. Can somebody look and see and say, you are the one who can solve this problem? Yes. And I will make sure I bless your life. If you have not got into that level, you better go and sit back after today's service. Because you may not have a do in your baton ring, hello. Hallelujah. <laughs> he says, can you see that Joseph was immediately employed by King Pharaoh the moment he saw that he had, he had what was needed to help Egypt manage the economic wealth. Joseph was immediately promoted. Let's see his salary package. Let's see how they were able to, 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 to bless him, to pay him back. The book of Genesis chapter 41, 42 to 46. Genesis 41 from verse 42 to 46. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine lining and put a gold ring about his neck. And he made him to write in the second chariot which he had. And they cried before him, bow the knee. And he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name, Iba Awo Long. And he came gave him wife, Asenath, the daughter of Potipharia, priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. And Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before King Pharaoh of, of Egypt. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout the land of Egypt. Now, I said, stop thinking that work is a curse. It is not. It is a source by which you should have provisions to meet your needs as believers. They reward Joseph for having the skill to help them at the time of him. You know, somebody will ask, share, share, share any, any solutions to problem. I said, ah, me only solutions to problem. You know, they will just ask him, hey, Mr. Joseph, I you know, tell tell two for about what that is. Me, I don't know how to handle it. I can only interpret it for you. You will help them to interpret. You should have a solution. And that is the reason why after today's service, go back and sit down. What is making me not to have? What is my problem? In one year like that, I started praying from January till December. I want funny activity. Lord, wisdom to have. Wisdom to have. I prayed that prayer for a whole year. Anytime me and my husband is, my husband will say, which wisdom again do you still want to have? I say, oh, yeah, me. But but anyone share in I'm using myself as an example. You should not be part of them. You should be better. That you know Christ, it should be, the, it should be better than others. If the wisdom on what to do is in your head, it will be easy for you to have. But Mark Bagby, the wisdom will come, but if you relax at your comfort zone, nothing will show for it. There is a need of at least 200,000. 
500,000. Will you be able to bring it out? Do you have anything? If you've not gotten to that level, you better go sit down after this today's morning service. <laughs> Money! <laughs> it won't come. It needs your service to come to you. In control of my book, money, to feed money. Joseph was immediately promoted. So stop thinking that work is a cause. In the book of 2 Thessalonica, 2 Thessalonica chapter 3, verse 10, say, For even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any will not work, neither should he eat. Because even during his own time, Paul and his and his colleagues, they work. Hello, car. I won't go in Shishé. Apart from Ishaulua, they were looking for something that relates to the work of the kingdom and they are doing it. I could remember my mother in the law always tell us, within the vicinity of that church, work. I will quickly say that, I mean, I will quickly say, say this before leaving this segment that every student should know that their work is to study, to show themselves approved. And every apprentice should humble themselves enough to learn from their master the art of becoming great in their chosen field. No matter how solid you are in prayer and fasting, if you refuse to work, you will remain poor. So let's see. What should now be our major lesson in today's teaching? What should be our lesson? When you are young, it is important you use the opportunity to have to invest in yourself so well that you will be seen as an asset. And then when you become an adult, labor wisely to develop the things that you will feed on when you become old. And when you are old, don't just sit back and allow your investment to take care of your needs. So, you know, some people say, I see, see, ah, me, she shall come on, come on, mama, bomb me. I'm going to see you. In Nigeria of today, 60 year old went back for law. 60 year old is going back again now for English with her PhD. You know, when, when I, will, I look at two of them, I say, ah, I'm 60. Two of them are now carry. He said, I carry it. And I went back to go and use my brain as a grammar. So one more be class, uh, be student. One day she asked me, what of my colleague? Money, which? Money, ma. I don't understand. Eh, hey, you have one in your house? I saw her. I met her. Though I see now in age, but we are colleagues. I said, she couldn't change your lale and baby. One year, I don't want school. Ni. Oh, one school, you know, one school. And I love that lad. I said, I want me. He said, hey, I go to the bank. Some of us will plateau and say, I've got in it. I have BSc. Abi, I have HND. You now sit down and say, oh, that came out of my job. I said, work harder. And the last and not the least, why is it that some believers are struggling in business? Why some unbelievers are thriving? The reason is because believers are over spirituality. Things. They want to use spirituality as a replacement for in, uh, uh, competence. Believers do what? They spiritualize things. They want to replace uh, competence with what the spiritual aspect and say, ah ah, reketable. One one, you are watching by the one to fetch a jet to get on. I do find my people at times when I come and say, ah, you've not done this, you've not opened it. You, you should think fast as you get to the shop and think this thing is not working. Look for alternative instantly. Competition, uh, competitive world, Lawa, and you are still relaxing. Proverbs 22, verse 29 says, See, thou a man diligent in his business. 
He shall stand, he shall stand before kings and not stand before mean men. Proverbs 22, verse 29. A believer must be diligent in his or her business. Don't spiritualize things over. Ah, there are ups and downs in any business. So, and when you face it, that is where the spiritual aspect comes in. They don't have the power to come and uh, poo poo in front of my own school. But one chef want to do Even somebody I pick as my mentor, one chef, the school beside him, oh, they're Kogu Guamolo, Emi Uba. In quarter, any one reading will go down with me. A me to shake, but my fist will transfer. That day, I told him, I told the woman, I said, One more yard, but so I added that case or only to communicate with your care, co, or your care, so co, quite any. I've got only you, and don't look flat in me. You want to see all this flat, you know. I did your one who say meeting. And that was one of the reasons I told them, My sister, I'm not doing it again. I'm not coming to that meeting again. If in your meeting we have issues here, I won't come. So she looked at me and said, are we not using the same curriculum? Is it not the same thing we are using? Don't tell me nonsense. But the point is, spirit, over spirituality we are talking about. Eh? Our believer. Our see why any? Can't touch Makoko fidara. But what is she doing? Because me, my sister, did be any more Okay, even Thomas if I want to go see people, not fake ba. Spiritual with sense. In your business, there's a joke or latter or water. The one she reke, shiba, maka, 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 maka. Yeah, 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 yeah. They will be looking at you. What is wrong? When I notice there are some change, some things are going on, I change my pattern. You stand on the altar. What is the essence of the altar you are coming? Oh, come on. I can't see. Hey, baby, baby. What am I getting? Tama. One, one, tag, bag, balori. Oh, the end, so on, so on. Can you buy buy? Don't over spiritualize things. Walk and use your sense, believers. Or, oh, come on. You wake up. When it is time for us to have so many people eh, in the business line, we discuss better. Hallelujah. So the last and not this least, people enjoy the service or products you offer. That is number one. It is not that you are, you are, you are out today and uh, cold tomorrow. People want somebody that is always at his. Oh, well, or it, or it was it. Diligence is a universal law, universal law, sorry, that will work for anybody that engages it. What is the law of diligence about? And that's one, one of the, the two points I've given you. I said, number one, people enjoy the service or product you offer. Number two, it is not that you are, you are hot today and cold tomorrow. If you must render service, be there on time. But you can't. Oh, eh, 7 a.m. today, tomorrow. I go meet you like this. You want your prayer meeting? I want your man love me. Ah, if you come very early on Monday, you will see me my toe hot. On Tuesday, when the mommy is prayer. On Wednesday, bang bang, you look Jesus. What? He been in prayer. Can you talk about it? Your toes. Talk about we want to go meet you. You want to wear that? And that's the reason why you should be consistent. Talk about she she like we she like. Yeah, come on, my daughter, come on. And the last and not the least, your customer service is great. You don't treat people anyhow. Good customer service attitude will make your customer to stay with you. And also tell others about you. So apply all these principles. And you see that the business in your hand, in your care, will thrive. When you see things are not working, go in the place of prayer. But don't relent. Don't stop. Keep moving. Are you getting my point? Because that's another thing with us, spiritual 
set kind of people we like to be to be neat rebo shakata ba yegede ki aso wa clean wo inu igbele wo wa we don't have much time but i will tell you ibt does iba wa gangan ibele wo wa you need money look for how you can render service have i blessed you this morning let's put our hands together to worship god hallelujah praise god don't forget this week god has prepared Wednesday for communion, we take the communion of the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Make sure you are always here on 